I have to start by telling you how honored I am to stand here as the next head basketball coach at Boston College. I'm deeply indebted and forever grateful to Father Leahy, to Brad Bates, to Leo Sullivan, you know, for this special opportunity. You know, I, I think as a basketball coach, you want to be in a situation where there's proper fits. And I have an unbelievable appreciation for the players and coaches that have created the unbelievable tradition here at Boston College. And if you look at all the different regimes, from Dr. Tom Davis to Gary Williams to Jim O'Brien to Al Skinner and the great players, some of whom might be here, that tradition is unbelievably impressive. And as a coach, the only thing you're trying to do is you're trying to look at where have they been successful and have they been successful with some people like you. It just became clearer and clearer and clearer that this was just an ideal spot for me. Not only was it a dream job, and every college coach in the country wants to compete against the very best, but it was just an ideal fit for me in everything that I wanted, everything that I think that I can do. The growth of the ACC is, is going to, as big as it is now, it's only going to get bigger. And, and one thing that I know is great players want to play against great players. So it's our job to go open knocking as many doors as we can to get the guys that we need that satisfy two things. Because I think in recruiting, it's a double-edged sword. If you, if you rush right away to just get talent and don't, and don't cultivate the culture in your program, it's just talent. Right from the beginning, the first time we were able to hit the floor, we're going we're gonna to have a basketball team that's going to understand our system thoroughly, clearly, and what we're trying to do. And as I mentioned earlier, a team that's going to understand the importance of how all those little things come together and give you a chance to win the game. Games are never won on those huge things, especially at this level. If you break down any basketball game, there's probably three, four, five plays, little plays that somebody could have made, maybe a step late, maybe just didn't see it quick enough, that really determined the outcomes of the game.